The city of Sharon continues to deal with arson. Today, investigators revealed yesterday's fire along Irvine Street was set on purpose. First News reporter Tyler Trill talked with city leaders. He's live in the studio to explain why the arson issue is now draining part of the budget. Yes, Sharon's dealt with so many arsons the past two years that the city manager says council set aside over 150,000 more dollars than usual to handle tearing down vacant homes. Considered a piece of Sharon history and once a part of Millionaire's Row in the city, this home on Irvine Street sits boarded up and missing a portion of its roof tonight. It's a, a large structure. It was, you know, one we hated to see burn. Bob Fiscus is Sharon's fire chief and the city manager. He's been dealing with arsons a lot the last two years. The city's seen over 20 intentionally set fires in 2017. They're scary and, and it's something that, that is actively being addressed. I think I know our police department has made numerous arrests. Smoke poured out of the top of the home Thursday morning. Pennsylvania State Fire Marshal ruled the fire started on either the second or the third floor. Fire investigators with the state have become familiar with Irvine. Just last month, they were here for an arson that happened on the street. The call volume related to fires ha has grown exponentially. These arsons not only take a toll on the fire department, but Councilman Bill James says the string of arsons hurt the city's budget. If they're not insured, it's on the city to knock them down, and it costs anywhere between five to ten thousand per house. Fiscus says the city set aside around $200,000 to remove dilapidated and vacant homes this year. In years past, they only budgeted roughly $30,000. The plan is to go down and take down you know, 50, 60 houses a year for the next five years and, and push back against the epidemic. I reached out to Sharon Police Department to ask if they have any information on who may have set yesterday's fire, but my call was not returned. From the studio tonight, Tyler Schroll, 27 First News at 6.